Hi, welcome to CareStream NDT YouTube video channel. I'm Steve Mango, Technical Manager for CareStream NDT, and today I'm going to show you how to use our plate carrier to read and acquire images from very small and irregular shaped pieces of imaging plate. All right, you've seen us operate the system, and uh, I might have mentioned that we have a very wide variety of uh, imaging plate sizes, uh, four and a half inch, seven inch, 14 by 17s, a very, very wide variety of sizes. But to go through the reader reliably, normally the plates need to be at least seven inches long in order to transport through the roller system. But now, what if I have an irregular part like this, where I want to cut a plate uh, to fit into this recess here and create an image just of this area. That means I want to cut a custom size plate that's possibly irregularly shaped and I want to be able to get that image, one or more of them, and read them in the reader and make an image. So we have a tool for that. It's called the plate carrier. The plate carrier is a 14 by 17 carrier onto which there's a um, an adhesive coating uh, on the plate with a grid. And what I'll do is, uh, after I have taken my imaging plates and cut them into strange and irregular shapes, I'll image them in my part or whatever it takes uh, to image them. And I'll get them and I'll put them on this adhesive uh, surface here. Uh, they go on and off very easily, very cleanly. And I'll arrange them starting in this upper left hand corner in any, uh, any pattern or any manner. Now, in order to read those, I will tell the software, give me a scan starting right here for this width and this length. Okay? And I can make that width and length any dimension as small as one by one inch. So in this case, I'm going to say, let's see, this is in centimeter scale, so I'm going to create a custom plate size, which is about uh, 12 by, by 23 centimeters, and I'll show you how I do that. I come to my uh, preferences in my all media, and of course that's a, that's a very custom size. You won't find that size on the system when you buy it, but I'm going to click the plus sign right there, which means I'm creating an additional plate size. So first thing I want to do is indicate that I'm using a plate carrier that will allow me to specify a length that's shorter than seven inches. So in this case, I'm going to say my scan area was, uh, what did I say, about 12 centimeters, and my scan length was about 23, and I'm going to scan that at uh, 50 microns, and I'm going to put that in centimeters because my my plate carrier happens to be uh, marked in centimeters. I could do it in inches, either one. And I'm going to apply all that. Once I have that custom carrier plate size defined, I'm going to move it over with this arrow into my frequently used uh, column and apply that. Now, when I go to my file, uh, scan and erase setup, and I'm going to say media dimensions and scan resolutions. I'm going to look for that custom plate carrier that I just created, which is uh, uh, 12 by 23 centimeters at 50 microns. Okay, I'm going to choose that. I'm going to select my laser power and PMT settings. And now I'm going to get that carrier, and I'm going to feed it into the HPX on the feed tray just like I would a 14 by 17. But in this case, it's going to start scanning from this corner only in the width and length that I just asked for. I put it in there, push it in, close that, and hit the scan button. And what I'll get after the fact, and I scan that, is something that looks like this. This is an actual scan from that carrier of those three pieces. And as you can see, I have just those images. I've put it on an uncluttered background. In this case, I actually reversed the polarity with a lookup table, so I'm looking at these images against a dark background. Or I could have looked at the reverse polarity against a white background, which is kind of less desirable. You want to eliminate the, uh, most of the ambient light and glare in the room. So that's what it looks like. And as I said, you can do any size and shape down to approximately one inch by one inch using this plate carrier.